can you make money online? Um, well, this is this is basically my PayPal account, and as you can see, I've selected from the first of the twelve to the first of January. So this is basically a oh hang on, let's change that to the seventh. So it's exactly one month, roughly. Let it update. Now I've taken out the names purely because these are customers and data protection. And so all that's removed. But I just wanted to show you the sort of money I make on a daily basis. Um, this is page one. Still loading, page two, page three. And that's that's the recurring income on websites. You, you know, I said I, I've got stuff I need to get these servers up and running. This is why there's a bigger potential there once I get things up and running properly. So what am I showing you this for? I'm showing you it's possible. It's possible to make an income from anywhere on the globe. It's possible to make a virtual income. Um, it's possible to start tomorrow with something small that will continue to grow. Um, working on the servers, and like I said, I've lost a week, but that money you, you've just seen going into the account, that goes in every single day, and it has done for years. Um, this is the major thing here you can get this income flowing and once it starts flowing it starts growing um, the only way it declines is when you have server issues which I have had but I haven't had any for a while um, the main issue I've got at the moment is I'm expanding the actual business so as such it comes with its uh, pains its growing pains which I think will probably cost me a month of my time to get it going is it financially worth it? If I look at the fact that we're adding another two sites and if it can get up to the same sort of level, then the answer is yes, I could retire. <laughs> um, no, the, realistically, it will increase my income probably about three, four hundred dollars a month. It doesn't sound a big number, but I've said before in Spain, we need about a thousand euros to be sustainable here. We're close, we're at about 850 euros. Um, that would take us over that threshold. I've also said that it could cost us, uh, ideally want to be about 1400 euros because I don't like stagnation. The Volkswagen camper we've got, or building, I want to be able to travel in it. I also want to be able to strip it out, respray it, rebuild it, put all the videos of that on YouTube and get ten dollars a month back for the next 20 years <laughs> um no the, to to actually show how to do it and be able to do that so if i can get my income up to 1400 euros i'll be happy now the funny thing is i, I know i'm going to get somebody to try only 1400 euros a month oh, he's really poor blah 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 look i'm worth a lot more than that this is my sustainability this is money i make set here this is money if i go out didn't work all week and did absolutely nothing, I will still make that money. This is this is the important bit. This is sustainable incomes that come in, whether I'm sat here or sat in the pub or in a restaurant, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if I'm here, Philippines, wherever. It gives me my freedom. That's the bit I'm after. If I want to make good money in the UK, I'm currently worth £10,000 a month as a contractor. Um, it may sound high to some people, but that for what I do is £10,000 a month. When I work in the Middle East, it's £10,000 a month, plus all expenses, including flights, hotel, the lot. I'm worth a lot more if I wanted to work in the corporate world. I'm leaving it. I'm trying to prize myself out the door. I've got some stuff I want to do for the corporate world, um, which is software-based. I want to be working from here, doing stuff on here and on the keyboard. I do not want to be sat in the offices anymore. I don't want to be living in Premier Inn hotels and the abyss and all that nonsense for the next 10 years. I want out, and this is my way out.
So this is why it's all relevant. This is me escaping from the corporate world. Um, although it's not going to happen overnight, it will happen. One way or the other, I will make it happen. Um, and this is part of me getting motivated again. Um, because the Christmas and stuff just drags me down. Not in a negative way, by the way. It's not uh, what I call winter depression. It's just that uh, it's the end of the year. You're sort of unwinding. You you don't get like, oh, yeah, I want to get on. I want to move on. Let's get things going. You're more like, oh, it's Christmas. Let's sit and watch TV and eat, eat mince pies. You know, <laughs> it's not the same. Once I get over, like I said, as soon as like it's the seventh now, it's been like nearly an hour. I'm now into my day of motivation because the Three Kings has now finished. Officially, the kids are back at school today. Officially, my working day starts again. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah.